Welcome back everyone. I wanted to do a lower speculation video on Oryx, combining what we already know from the Grimoire cards with new information from the trailer, The Taken King, and also the VDoc from Bungie. If you've already read the House of Wolves Grimoire cards, you likely have predicted the return of Oryx. Ghost Fragment The Queen 2 documents two figures, one male and one female, standing before the Queen. We do not know who they are, but they have no ghost. The female figure, which is a hunter, goes on to say, quote, I am here for one battle and one alone, because it is a battle we must all fight, together or separately. So I will warn the defenders together or separately. I will do anything. Her low voice shook with passion. To end Oryx. The Queen responds, so let us end him. If I were to guess who these mysterious figures are, I would say the female is either Eris Morn or the Exo Stranger. Eris Morn does not have a ghost. She is familiar with the Hive and, and specifically Crota. However, there is dispute whether she is a hunter or a warlock. Regardless, it would be an excellent way to tie all the DLCs together. Eris Morn teams up with the Queen to take on Oryx. The Dark Below meets the House of Wolves. The other option that the female could actually be the Exo Stranger. Once again, no ghost, and her Grimoire card actually says that she is fighting a long forgotten war. Oryx is referred to as a long forgotten king in the Spawn of Crota Grimoire card. So it could be the Exo Stranger, which would be really cool because we don't really know much about her, and the forgotten war that she has been fighting could be Oryx taking other alien races to form his dark army. So who is the man? I really want to believe that the man talking with the Queen is told and the Shattered. Well the other option is it is Osiris. I've seen a lot of people say that Tolan is dead, so let me deviate for one moment. He's assumed dead. Erison Morn's first fire team included Irania 3, Vel, Sai, Omar and Tolan. Vel is definitely dead. He is the Titan we see at the front of the Temple of Crota. Omar, 100% dead. We witnessed Omar being tortured as the Hive pulled the light away from his body. Sai basically does a suicide run at Omnigal and says, quote, My knives are eager for another dance. Arania 3, mostly dead, assumed dead as well. She activates her radiance and goes off in a blaze of glory. But Tolan's death is less in stone, and his last conversation with Eris Morn, he actually talks about learning the Death Singer's song. He says in reference to the Death Singer, quote, How then would she know the song and sing it without dying herself? He then says, I am terribly curious. And this is the last we hear of Toland. I interpreted this as Toland's basically trying to learn the Death Singer's song so that he could use it for immortality. And we don't know whether he succeeded or failed. And so this is why I think he could still be alive. Tolan is extremely knowledgeable about Oryx, and is seen often talking to Eris Morn about Oryx. For example, the Urn of Sacrifice Grimoire card says, Hive Pantheon only begins with Crota. The Shattered One, i.e. Tolan, said he is but a child among their gods. Even now I can hear the Hive calling to them, and to Crota's maker, Oryx. So I believe it is plausible that the mysterious male figure talking to the Queen could be Tolan the Shattered. The other person the male figure could be is Osiris. Osiris is the first to talk about the king named Oryx in the mission Shrine of Oryx, so it could be him. Unfortunately I have not really looked into the lore surrounding Osiris, so feel free to help out in the comments below. Either way, I hope you learn who has approached the Queen to destroy Oryx, because it would be great to learn some more information about these mysterious characters. Let's look at the new environment. The setting of Saturn is quite important, as this is the part of the old Jovian colonies, and the first thing that comes to mind when thinking of the Jovian colonies is the Nine. Ghost Fragment Legends 2 Grimoire card says, quote, The Nine are survivors of the Cis Jovian colonies, who made a compact with an alien force to ensure their own survival, end quote. Did they in fact make a pact with Oryx? Was Oryx this alien force that the Nine made a deal with to ensure their own survival? We know that the Nine are up to something, as they have already betrayed the Queen and actually set Skullus free, which can be seen in the mysterious fate of Skullus Grimoire card. On Bungie's website it says Oryx is quote, manipulating the darkness itself to create his dark army. Ghost Fragment Legends 2 card also says that quote, the Nine are aspects of the darkness. Are the Nine being controlled by Oryx?
The new Taken enemies are black, filled with darkness controlled by Oryx. We don't quite know yet, but either way, I think the Taken King release will allow us to better define and understand the darkness. And being so close to Saturn brings us one step closer to understanding the Nine. We can't really talk about Oryx without first discussing Crota. You likely know that Crota conquered the moon with the Hive, and thousands of Guardians died. What may not have been clear was that the taking of the moon was just a shadow of Crota, and his real power existed in his netherworld, and once they took the moon, the Hive attempted to properly summon Crota to Earth to destroy it. That was Omnigal's job, to summon Crota. So in the raid Crota's End, when you pass through the white light after the abyss, you are actually entering Crota's netherworld and destroy him upon his throne. This netherworld concept is told by Eris, who was told by Toland about this netherworld that the Hive can exist in. Crota, son of Oryx Grimoire mentions that there could be a string of netherworlds and that we have only found Crota's netherworld at this stage. And within these netherworlds lies the ancient hive. Quote, Whispered lore and fragmentary theories suggest that Crota represents a distinct class of hive entities, not resident in our material world. My latest synthesis of this scattered esoteric suggests that Crota's home is a universe created or remade by his power and occupied by hive organisms of immense age. End quote. So although we will board the Dreadnought ship, this idea of another netherworld is quite possible. And you can see that a lot of the trailers have teleportation, which is not typically a Hive trait, but more of a Vex trait. And the Corona Grimoire card also references that the Vex gate system is linked to the Hive netherworlds and is currently unexplored. So from a lore point of view, the doors are wide open for us to transport to another netherworld to face Oryx. However, after seeing the V-Doc by Bungie, the way they talk about the Dreadnought, it sounds like Oryx will in fact be on the ship. Quote, They have got prisons, summoning pits, ceremonies, all those things combined in a giant floating fortress. End quote. So now, I think Oryx will be on the Dreadnought ship, but I do think the ship has some links to the Netherworld, whether it is the hub for all Netherworlds, or whether it might be the key to each of those dimensions. There is not a huge amount of lore surrounding Oryx at this time. All we know is he is basically King of Kings. One of the executive producers says, quote, he is born of darkness, end quote. And for some time Oryx was even thought to be fable, stories whispered through the entire system. That is from the Sardok Eye of Oryx card. He is also referred to as the long forgotten king in the spawn of Crota Grimoire card. All we know at this stage is he is not mere story or legend and has basically been abducting other races and using the darkness to manipulate and change them to form his dark army. What they have said is that the taken enemy will look tormented, more alien, and that their will has been broken. Knowing that Oryx is going to be difficult, the Guardians are given a quest to discover their lost abilities. The Titan's Hammer, the Warlock's Storm Collar, and the Hunter's Void Bow. It sounds like the new subclasses will not unlock straight away, but you'll have to complete a quest first to unlock them, which is really cool. It reminds me a little bit of Avatar The Last Airbender and mastering all the elements. After that, a journey starts at a Cabal base on Phobos, where the Cabal are actually trying to escape Oryx, but are being captured, and our job is to track down Oryx and stop him before creating his dark army. One thing is for sure, when we finally track down Oryx, it is going to be tough. According to Toland, Crota was a mere child in comparison to his father Oryx. Hopefully you've enjoyed this pre-release lore speculation on Oryx, and if so, please drop a like and leave a comment, and we'll see you next time. Peace! I protected the reef. In the end, they all bowed before me. We showed them mercy.